guys. So we're at WPC 420. And um, now that you've seen the panorama, we're going to go ahead and take the samples. So I'm going to go grab um, just some a big beaker of water and I'll bring it over here for Sam to do pH, conductivity and alkalinity. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and prep the samples that we'll be taking back to the lab. So we've got our water samples, beakers we just collected from the creek. We've got one for Sam yep. and one for me for um, our sample prep. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is just calibrating the pH probe, picking out DIY, making sure we get good results. I'm starting with pH 4. You guys have all done this already, so you know what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and label two test tubes. First for metals, so dissolved metals, which will be filtered, and then total metals, which will not be filtered. We also have an amber vial, which will filter samples for COD, anions, and then also dissolved organic carbon. Take the syringe and just rinse it out a couple times. I'm going to take this 0.45 micron filter and first just squeeze a little water out of it to flush out the filter. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill up this amber vial. All right, so I just finished calibrating it, so I'm just going to do a couple trials now. Test the pH of the water. Just three, I think, will do. Three, that's pretty low. Oh, three trials. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not listening. three. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> that is that would be not good. That's what we were getting on during our field session. So awesome. Nice sight, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> yeah. We've got this label just on the baggie since uh, amber vials are hard to write on. And our first pH, 7.72. Not, Not three. Very cool. Oh, good. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's pretty turbid water here, so um, I already pretty much spent this filter. It was getting hard uh, to push water through. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to a new filter now. 
And once again, just first flush that out real quick. And I'm gonna take my dissolved metals sample and fill that up. I'm gonna take my total metals and this is just straight water. Fine. Alright, All right. so now I'm gonna jump down literally <laughs> to the creek and fill these up. This is for fecal coliform, so this should be sterile. And I'm not going to open this up until I'm down by the creek and just quickly submerge it and put that cap back on so we don't get any contamination. This is for um, total suspended solids, so I'm also just going to take this down, fill it up, and we'll be good to go. All right, and I just uh, finished up pH, so I'm just going to... There we go. Pop this guy back on. See if it goes. Oh, that is stiff. Cool. And the next up, I'm going to set up for conductivity. Sunglasses. We're fine. We're, we've come out of the creek and we've got our sample. It's good to bring a trash bag to make sure you don't litter. So I'm just going to throw my syringes and filters back in here because we're not obviously reusing any of these at the other sites. And we'll keep this trash bag with us. Lastly, we're just going to put all our samples in the cooler to stay cold. Ideally, we could keep all of them in there, but if you want to prioritize, you should do your coliforms, your anions, and your DOC. And then what I'm doing now is just calibrating the... What is it called again? Ionic? Uh, um, conductivity. conductivity, that's the word. <laughs> Doing that one. A 1413 megacium per centimeter solution. Uh, Uh, so ideally, I would wait for this conductivity measurement uh, to decide uh, what volume of alkalinity to use. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and send it. And I think I'll do the sample volume 
of 50 like we did in lab with Tom. And he might not be happy with that. Hopefully I made the right choice. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> I'm just going to rinse this out since I have plenty of water. Just make sure speakers um, clean, quotation marks, with the sample. We've got 50 mils now. get our trusty hook that I can never get out of these little bottles and I'm definitely contaminating with my glove. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do that 0.16 um, concentration of the acid so this is a, a smaller concentration since I don't expect to need too much. It's not calibrated. Oh no. It's getting there. Eventually. Alright, sweet. This is always the hardest part for me, but I'm going to try to <laughs> get the air bubbles out without spraying acid all over Sam. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll dodge it. <laughs> this hook seems kind of wonky. I don't know it does. Then I'm doing the uh, conductivity now. I got the calibration done. I'm just going to do three of those so we have Three data points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always range. good. For Always good. Kits. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief! This is, am I doing something wrong? This is brutal. All right, first one is three oh nine. Nothing just can't go up because it's off filter. Maybe that's going to work, hopefully. If we're lucky. Ah! Come on. If you're spraying acid everywhere, it usually means you're doing it right. Um, Woo. And you want to hold it vertical so you get those air bubbles out. So now I know um, I'm not seeing any air bubbles, so I think I'm good to go. I need to remember to reset the digits that we covered um, with Tom. So it's at zero now, and I can start titrating. I'm trying to remember, was it methyl green? Yeah, I not, think so. Not phenol. Pretty sure it's methyl green. That's the lower uh, pH bound. Yeah, yeah, it was green in the video. Perfect. Sorry, Tom. I'm... <laughs> Alkalinity is not my strong point. Right. I've just finished up my uh, conductivity. I'm gonna pack all this stuff up. Notice that Sam has been writing in our trusty notebook. Oh yeah. 
So we're good to, to run as soon as we're done here and then we'll more officially fill out um, the chain of custody and all of that good stuff once we're not out here in the field. We can think more level-headedly. Alive by mosquitoes is nice too. Oh, I'm, I'm being good. They're not giving us a <laughs> Working out great over here. <laughs> I'm uh, your uh, mosquito trap. It's great. Can't complain. <laughs> so, what was our conductivity? Uh, so, our conductivity was all around pretty much 309. So, I'm pretty sure I made the right decision. We'll see here on alkalinity then. <laughs> um, I can tell we're getting close. If you find that you're titrating forever, you probably either uh, made the wrong decision with the concentration of acid and or your volume. Since we're done with this, I can just uh, pack it up. Uh, I didn't need to say that. 